Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail right here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video, and today we are going to be going over the Uncharted Battlefield, the brand new game mode in Danmachi Battle Chronicle, and this time round we are going to be doing it as a player who has been able to beat all 10 stages and obtain all the rewards of this brand new game mode we are going to be going over some tips and tricks that you need to know about this game mode some strategies that you should be employing and of course i want to talk about my overall thoughts about this game mode especially now that i've completed everything that i can do in this game mode for this period remember this event goes from the 21st of november to the 4th of december i expect another set of uncharted battlefield to drop on the 5th of december or whenever the next major update is going to be so of course this event and this game mode is here to stick around it seems like so of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more danmachi and danmachi battle chronicle content and let me know your thoughts about this game mode down below in the comment section below of course if you have any tips and tricks and any suggestions that i might have missed out on leave it in the comments i'm actually quite curious to see if there are anything uh you know uh, any uh, suggestions and any tips and tricks that i didn't know about that you guys might be able to mention down below in the comment section i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down below and also let me know which stage are you guys at right now i'm actually quite curious to see what the majority of the player base is at because based on my live streams and whenever i've streamed the game over the last few days a lot of people have been saying that they're stuck hard stuck on stage nine because they may be able to clear stage nine but then they run out of units by stage 10 so i'm quite curious to see if everybody is in the same boat because i expect actually that to be the case because of course this is a stage in which you do need fire units and well i mean we all know that fire units and Danmachi battle chronicle right now don't go well together there are so few of them and uh un unfortunately you know it's quite hard to build a team for that ninth stage. So let me know how you guys are faring down below in the comment section below. But yes, I finished all 10 stages of this brand new game mode. I just want to quickly go over my thoughts on this game mode before going into further detail later on in this video. I absolutely adore this game mode. I think the strategies that you have to employ, the techniques that you have to employ, some of the, you know, workarounds that you have to go after in order to beat these stages and try and progress rapidly is uh, phenomenal. I think that this is one of the best, if not the best game mode that they've dropped in the game at this point in time. You know, we've had, of course, event ranking come out. We've had raids come out. We've obviously got magic stone scramble and battle arena and score attack and all that jazz i think that this is the best game mode they've done and it's unbelievable to me because well it's auto battle this game mode is auto battle it's not even like you're taking control of the characters or anything of that sort it is an auto battle game mode and your units get sealed which means that you have to use your box which is obviously a fantastic thing because this game mode incentivizes and that's my first tip and trick for you guys this game incentivizes you to use your sr and ssrs for the first four stages i would say first three stages actually more so i only used srs and ssrs exclusively even after that i used ssrs primarily stage four all of them are ssrs except for finn Stage 5, a majority of them are SSRs except for Tiona and Chigusa. Same thing here as well, technically. I didn't even use a UR assist here. So it's very imperative for you as the player to level up your characters here. When they said in the, uh, you know, precursor and in the synopsis leading into the update um, that, you know, you need to train up, uh, you know, as many characters as possible, they weren't lying. They were not lying. Initially, I thought that, oh, you might need 15 or 20 units at most, right? Well, technically, if you really want to be, you know, on it and you want to make sure that you have a full team for every single, you know, stage, you need 30 adventurers and 30 assists. Not to mention, you need effectively 90 scene cards. That's, that's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Of course, this game mode, if you are a whale, is probably very simple because you have the units, you have the options. It's very easy for you guys, quite honestly speaking. And it's not even just me being, you know, patronizing or, you know, being sarcastic or anything of that sort. You will have an added advantage. And I think Uncharted Battlefield as well 
over time is going to become easier for more players and most players i would say because we're going to be able to summon more more units will release and so on and so forth now of course if they start adding more stages then it becomes tricky but i think right now it's it's at the right difficulty i feel maybe a little bit harder than many people expected but i think with the free multis that we're getting every week and everything i think we will be able to be in a better position come the next set of uh, uncharted battlefields of course right but yes that's my first tip use your srs and ssrs as much as possible and limit the amount of characters you're using in each stage that is my second tip use two characters if you can get away with it and maybe one assist if possible use your normal and rare scene cards i would actually urge you guys go into the story quest and level up your scene cards if possible and get more limit breaks if possible in your scene cards of course one thing you need to note is that once you use a character you can't use them again so that is also something that is going to be challenging for a lot of players because like i said that's why you need 30 adventures and 30 assists because you can't use the same character twice over so you have to make sure you're being very sparing in your character usage you're being very sparing and sporadic in your uh, scene card selection just make sure that you are getting the bare minimum uh done when it comes to these stages like this second stage i literally just went okay bet and hestia together that's the solo team that I'm going to go with. And that's all I'm going to do and just run with it and see how it works. And it worked, of course, because what I could uh, rely on was Hestia healing. And I'll come on to that in just a moment and uh, why that is very important. But uh, that's the idea. Just go for as few characters as possible and use your weaker rarity characters if possible. Another thing I would also take advantage of if you are somebody who's not been summoning a lot, of course, remember Magic Stone Scramble and other means have allowed you to get a bunch of these gold awakening bonds, right? These gold awakening bonds and silver um, uh, awakening bonds, use them. Take this opportunity to use them because honestly speaking, I didn't think I would ever use them and then now I'm there like, crap, I need to actually use them on some of these characters. Even if I may get more of, or copies of these units in the future through the free multis or just general summons in the future, I cannot afford to wait that long. If I want to get the rewards now, I got to make sure I'm taking advantage of that as much as possible, right? So I had to just uh, get up. I think it was Asfi I ended up getting up because I was struggling on, uh, on surviving with Bell. Bell was just getting tossed around like... Uh, I don't know he was getting just tossed around like a cabbage in a walk to be quite honest i have no idea why he was getting beat so easily i know so many other people in my live stream were saying that oh i was able to solo stage one with uh you know bell alone and everything and i was like i can't do that my bell is just not surviving enough man he's just dying left right and center so i was like let's see how well how we can fare by just giving asfi you know three dupes in her she went from two stars to awakening five basically so i was like let's see if it works and it worked of course right um but yeah obviously i know that i could have probably helped bell survive by giving him better scene cards and stuff but that was the idea i wanted to just go in with the bare minimum that i could without you know wasting too many characters and this was the strategy that i had to employ in the end um one of the things that i would like to point out and this is a big piece of information that a lot of people don't actually know you can reset your stages now a lot of people might be like wait what you, you can reset your stages how there's no full reset button unfortunately there is no full reset button but what you can do is uh, take a picture or you know take a screenshot of your steel details right go into the prepare to attack stage and I'm going to just remove these characters or actually, no, let's not use stage one as an example. Say I come up with a strategy that requires me to basically not use, um, you know, Takemi Kazuchi, for example. I don't need to use Takemi Kazuchi anymore. I, I, I can rely on the three characters I have well and good, right? So you can see that I can select my characters right now, right? If I remove Takemi Kazuchi effectively and I set off and I win the stage... I basically can use Takemi Kazuchi in any of the other stages, basically. So effectively, what that does is, is it's a form of like stage reset, effectively. So you can go into a stage, say Battle 1, for example, and uh, reduce the amount of units you use, maybe. Or use any other spare units that you may have, change the scene cards a little bit and stuff like that. And if you win, that uh, uh, latest win will basically... Uh, 
overwrite your previous win, allowing you to use characters from previous runs. For example, in Battle 1, right, I was using uh, Bell and uh, Asfi along with Wealth, and I think it was the uh, SR Assist Lily. But then I got stuck on stage 9 because my Riveria was just not surviving. The moment I brought in SR Lily, and of course, I also uh, removed all the steam cards I was using. I think I was using a majority of like these SR scene cards in stage 1. I just switched out the scene cards, I removed SR Lily, I used weaker battle items, and then I won. That's how I won on stage 9, because I was able to take away from battle 1, I was able to effectively reset battle 1 in a way, to the point where I was able to free up SR Lily, and I could use her in battle 9 instead. So that is a strategy that you should be employing if you are struggling with this, uh, with some stages. Try and look into your early stages and maybe remove characters, switch around characters and see what you can do. Uh, one example, and I'll talk about this in the clip as well. I'm going to be adding a clip at the end of this uh, video, by the way, where I go over my stage 10 uh, clear, my first attempt at clearing stage 10. It's from my live stream. If you want to check out my other attempts, you can check out my previous live streams as well. Um, but in stage 10, one of the key issues that I was noticing that was that uh, my, assi uh, my assists were too weak, scene cards were too weak, I was running the wrong DPS unit in the form of uh, Finn. So what I did was, stage 4, removed Halloween Cassandra, put Finn in. I switched them around basically, that's what I did. Battle 5, I removed Hermes from one of the assists basically, and basically uh, effectively freed him up for stage 10 as well, allowing me to get another, another assist for that fight. And then what I did was again, I went back to previous stages like stage 3 and removed one assist. I removed Chigusa from here, the SSR Ch uh, Chigusa or Seer I think it was, I don't remember who it was. But I removed one of them and I weakened the scene card selection and also the battle items so that I could free them all up for this fight. The battle items are better, the scene cards are better, the assists are better. And I was able to win, beat this stage because of that. So effectively, what I did was at stage 10 and stage 9, I realized that I'd used up too many of the good stuff before. I needed to try and free up a little bit of that in order to help me with the later stages. So that is a very important and integral part of this game mode is knowing and strategizing what you need from previous stages going back to those stages, removing them, adjusting them a little bit to see exactly what you can get away with, and then giving those extra things that you've been able to free up into the later stages. Resetting is a very important thing in this game mode. Now, personally, I wouldn't mind if they gave us an option for a full reset. I know a lot of people would prefer a full reset. Personally, I'd rather we be able to get like a sort of like, um, you know, individual stage reset basically. So like if I could go to stage, uh, you know, four and click, you know, reset stage or something. Because a full reset I feel like would be very annoying because you'd have to go to the very beginning. You'd have to remember what you used previously, what you can get away with and so on and so forth. So it would be kind of frustrating. Of course, if you have the option to do either or, it would be great. But knowing Aiming Inc, they'll go fully in one direction. So... I would rather have it the way it is right now than get a full reset personally. What I would prefer ideally is an individual stage reset. I think that would be fantastic. Honestly, that would be unbelievable, uh, unbelievable to be quite honest. Because then what players can do is individually reset certain stages and try again, basically. I think that would be uh, the best way to go about it. Um, but we'll have to see what they do and how they improve in future updates, of course, right? Now, the next tip and trick I want to give you guys is that Support units are king in this game mode. I, I, I'm surprised I'm saying that and kudos to uh, Aiming Inc for actually making a game mode like this for support units because so far support units, let's be real, they've not been the best in terms of uh, the other game modes. Event ranking, not really great. Unfortunately, speed units reign supreme there, of course, alongside DPS units. Battle Arena and MSS, you can use some support units. Haruhime is one that I see regularly in MSS. But even then, you know, tanks and DPS units reign supreme there as well with, a, you know, 
couple of uh, support uh, speed units in there as well with the likes of you know summer lily halloween ryu but that's about it right so support units don't necessarily have the same level of um strength as the other units in other game modes now however the this game mode incentivizes you to use support units they are so good and can change a game immediately they can change a stage for you immediately like i know a lot of people said stage two was impossible with a with a solo bet for a long period of time before i when i was uh, about to prepare to go into battle one two and three and i was resetting some stages and trying to figure out what i could get away with and stuff i put the hestia assist on done done i didn't need to worry anymore i had nothing to worry about because hestia was able to keep bets up time regularly um you know and keep his hp up quite regularly to the point where i didn't have to worry at all stage 10 as well by the way i was using a ryu initially here absolute disaster was not surviving whatsoever bring in haruhime easy dubs makes actually the rest of the fight very easy because her uchi no kazuchi obviously not only gives uh you know damage reduction uh and uh, whatnot but she it also gives uh, some damage as well it increases the damage of allies as well so in all honesty this was a fantastic opportunity to use haruhime wine was help helping her keep her alive as well so you can see that in every stage there is some form of support unit there you know uh we have uh, of course riveria here even though riveria was struggling on her own the moment lily came in riveria was actually clutching up for the rest of the fight to be quite honest i'm not even lying she was really good um battle 8 i didn't need to use it thankfully i had to use seer so i guess you could say that seer is kind of like a support unit because of the shield and everything so i guess there is that um uh, battle 7 kind of got away with it because that's because eyes is broken battle 6 i had to use sr mikoto here i had to free up sr mikoto by the way i remember this I remember battle one i had originally put sr mikoto in here or it was in battle two i think i think it was in battle two actually i had her in um originally alongside bed and then i had to free her up for battle six basically because i was struggling to survive with just aisha and i think it was finn at the time or it was garrett and i was struggling but bring in aisha and uh no sorry not aisha mikoto and the sr haruhime helped the fight out tremendously how uh, so 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 helpful uh once again um so yeah these support units are very vital even tank units are pretty darn useful i will say that for sure right being able to provide the shield and everything is super super handy but it's insane how good support units are in this game mode i i really want to get cassandra and also kind of loki won the new asfi as well because i think they'll be a fantastic set of units for this game mode as well but generally speaking i mean the more units we get of course the more new units we get it will be a lot better for us as well, generally speaking, right? But yeah, th that's my thoughts on this game mode. And those are my tips and tricks really for this game mode. I think that this is, uh, you know, a fantastic game mode. I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, um, you know, it was a lot of fun strategizing, coming up with strategies, you know, scene card selections, uh, assists to use, how many adventures do I actually need? and so on and so forth it was a fantastic experience um hopefully this video could help you guys out in some way shape or form i'm gonna leave you guys with my stage 10 run of course if you guys want to see me combine all of my clears in one video let me know in the comment section down below i will probably end up doing that uh, in the near future anyways as well going from stages 1 to 10 you know picking them out from like videos and streams and stuff so that you guys can actually see how it all works but yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have any other suggestions and tips and tricks i know that there are some that are floating around as well like for example unit placement in the start screen for example okay the date has changed so i have to go back to the title screen but for example, a lot of people are saying like, depending on where you place the unit on your team screen, you know, they start in separate areas, basically not areas, but like different lanes, basically they start in different lanes that matters. I personally, I, I personally haven't noticed it making a huge difference, but some people have suggested it does make a little bit of a difference and that's significant enough, which is a fair point to make. To be quite honest, I can see where they're coming from for sure. Right. Um, but yeah, changing where the units are aligned and stuff is a uh, fair op uh, a fair uh, point to make, fair tip and trick, of course, right? But yeah, main things and a main, the main TLDR that I want to give from this video, 
remember to reset change your strategies regularly make sure you're using as few units as possible save your assists for the harder fights it seems like you do need assist uh in the later stage of the fight support units are very very good and just generally make sure that you are being very very sparing when it comes to your unit selection for the earlier stages don't dump everything immediately and of course you have the opportunity to reset if you do dump in everything immediately don't worry there is an opportunity for you to reset but yeah let me know what you guys think about this game mode down below in the comments like i said leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna leave you guys with my stage 10 clear until the next one guys take it easy everybody bye bye as well right uh, it's a bit of a problem basically but yeah, stage 9 is just a mess. Stage 9 is just one of those stages that is really challenging, no matter what anybody says. Did that not just... Did Otaro just not hit there? I think Otaro just failed to hit there. Wouldn't unit placement only matter for the first room? I think it would matter only for the first couple of stages. I thought it hit. Yeah, I was about to say, he might have whipped that all. I think that, I know some people have been saying, okay, so something I will say, by the way, I know I had a comment and I saw something on Reddit, I think, or, uh, when I was at work today, um, during my break, I was just looking through Reddit. I saw somebody say that their Otaro kept, like, when they would even be attacking and then their Otaro would just not deal any damage. I wonder if there is a bug with Otaro potentially. I wonder if there is a bug with Otaro because if there is, then they might need to, uh fix that in the future might need to free up some ur scenes we'll give it a shot i think this should still be fine um we're gonna have to wait and see i think we should still be fine though when you play on fast uh it bugs some of my units i had to restart and the game and turn off fast forward okay that might be it then. Maybe we might need to restart the game then. Depending on unit, they can say clear left side faster than assist the units in mid and then right side. Got it. I mean, yeah, go from left to right then instead. That makes sense, I guess. Heal up. All right. Sandra came clutch. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go. They hit the ults. Let's go. It's all about hitting the ults, baby. Didn't need to upgrade shit <laughs> to level 70. Y'all y'all be getting after me. No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. 3,000 Selas, baby. And, uh, well, I had to use a couple of all-encompassing Selas. Uh, Selas Falna. I went from like 22 to 6, uh, like 13 basically. I did a lot of upgrades there. Jesus, let's go. Come on. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's look at all the seal details. So let's take a look at this. This is definitely going to be uh, the guide now. Um, for sure, I'm going to use this as a guide basically. Um, as the basis for the guide, obviously focusing on using as little as possible in the early stages. Um, assists matter a lot. HP, recovery, stamina, all this sort of stuff. Vitality. But yeah. Early stages, you should use only a two and most unit, of course. If you can get away with one like I did right here, obviously, fantastic option. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all about using as minimal units as possible. I, I think the one thing I would say, I mean, yeah, this one, I I still feel I could have probably saved a unit here, maybe, um, in the form of Ryu, but we didn't need it anyways. Obviously, we had three units available at all times, but yeah. But yeah, th this was good. This was like one, this was so hard, but it was so surprising, like, I literally equipped Lily, right? And then immediately the state... Rivera just survived everything after that. She wasn't struggling at all. Such a weird weird thing to happen. But yeah, Cassandra coming clutch. The unit I slagged off the most during Halloween <laughs> ends up coming... Uh, become, ends up becoming number one. I think support units here are dominant, by the way. Support units are insane here. Honestly, I would immediately improve... Uh, like immediately push up uh, support units based on this alone if uh, depending on how often this uh, event comes back 
I might have to push uh, the support units up a tier, basically. If it comes back every two weeks, support units will have to go up. 100%. Because they're just so good in this stage, man. They're so fucking good in this... Uh